Hello, I am Jeffrey Hauser. I'm a podcaster, programmer, and etc., etc., and live concert recorder. I wanted to get a video of my process for preparing a recording to archive.org and uploading it. So, what we have here is a Guster concert uh, from December 1st, 2013. They played their first album in its entirety. And this is my master wave file. I recorded the show with a handy H4N, uh, which is a um, just, just a recorder and some core sound microphones. And that gave me a WAV file that you see before you. Now, this is not the original WAV file. I did do um, some minor edits to boost the volume, but otherwise, no processing. This is straight what I recorded. So, with that said, this is the very first step. I mean, if you scroll through like these low low points um, where there's not a lot of waveform, that's talking, and these large ones rather, that's where they're playing songs. So the very first step is I want to find the places between songs so I can put a marker. And within Sound SoundForge, I'm going to do that by using the M and I'll put it there. Um, usually when I do this I, I try to pay a lot of attention. Um, I want to get as close to the song as possible. So I might move it over here. <clears throat> but then if there's any talking that relates explicitly to the next song they're going to play, I try to get that in the track too. So that is the first step and I am going to go ahead and do that and I will be right back. Okay, I am back. This is the full file. I've zoomed all the way out so I can see the whole file at once. And you see plenty of my line markers. I actually cut this up into 26 separate tracks. So there's 25 different markers spread throughout the file. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click the mouse and then click R, which is going to create regions out of each one of these um, areas between the markers. And if all is said and done, it should be twenty six different regions. Okay. Okay, next I'm going to do two things. Uh, the first, I'm actually going to open the metadata for this file and I'm going to put something in there Guster 2013-12-01 evening so this is basically the um, the naming convention used for archive.org files so it's really Guster 2013-12-01 I'm adding the evening on there to distinguish this is an evening show and not the uh, morning show because they played two shows that day so now I'm going to go back, close, uh, expand this piece up at the top. And we I have a bunch of regions. What I'm going to do is I've been keeping track of the file names, or rather those song names, in a uh, separate separate folder. So I'm going to paste, paste in the... Um, the song names and I'm going to name every region. You don't need to watch me do that for all the songs so I'm going to do that and I will be right back. Okay now I went through and I labeled all the um, the regions so they actually have an explicit name. Um, this doesn't matter for the next step and actually I am going to so you can actually see the menu option I'm going to pull this out of frame for a bit and yeah, it should be. So I have this save regions as flack for archive.org upload. So I actually have a specific script that I wrote for this purpose. And the, the reason we um, named the regions is for the save regions as MP3, which is another script I wrote. They're both very similar. So I'm going to go ahead and save that and libraries music. And I'm going to go to flack. Okay. And you see it's processing these files. 
and it's creating them I can go directly to the directory and you can see it as it creates them and it's adding this extra piece to the naming D1 T01 which is disk 1 track 01 disk 1 track 05 and the script is is taking every region creating it as an individual file and then um, t giving it the proper naming convention for archive.org and I don't have to do anything complicated on my own and since I have your attention you'll notice there's a text file that I already put in this directory this is just the file I've been keeping notes on in the set list but but I'll add some other details about the show and upload it to archive.org as part of the upload and it'll be used to get uh, metadata information if I show you this file, if I drag it in, if you it will automatically fill in track names if you do this. O one dot for each track after you upload it. So it'll it'll parse this file and associate the track names with the actual files that you upload. Okay, and the reason I named all these regions is for my own purposes. I like to create. Oh, let me show you the menu option like I did before. For your own purposes I create uh, this I have the save region as mp3. Now I know if you're a diehard taper about quality flack is better but really for practical purposes and listening I find that mp3s are just uh, just just a ton easier to get onto your devices and all the metadata is there. So I'm gonna click OK and then I have a template set up, export high quality mp3s, Guster, Brooklyn Ball, uh, let me specify evening. Yep, so um, title will automatically be populated from the uh, from the metadata over here and track number will also be populated, it'll automatically uh, populate that with the script. Then if I click OK, it's going to start creating MP3s of the show, and they start populating in there. So that is why I actually go through the trouble of naming the regions as I create them. And a flax much quicker than the MP3 conversion, presumably because it's lossy, lossless, rather. And you can, we can see it's the, the title and artist and stuff is already being populated in the metadata. Okay, archive.org also needs a file called an FFP file. And so I launched this other program, Trader's Little Helper. And I'm just going to highlight all my FLAC files, drag them into Trader's Little Helper, select Create Checksum File from the pop up then gonna switch to FFP, then I'm gonna create, and then I'm going to save, and yes, show two is what we're at. So I'm gonna give this the same name as I've been giving everything else, 2013-12-01 evening dot FFP. So it's the same name, or naming prefix I guess as the uh, FLAC files and as the info text file and I'm gonna save that there. Okay the final step is really to upload these files so I'm at archive.org so I click upload then I'm gonna click uh, live music archive and then classic uploader and going to select basically all the files including all my FLAC files and the FFP and the um, info text file. I'm going to click and it's going to start uploading stuff. While that's doing it that's going to take a while because a lot of big files so band abbreviation in this place is Guster, Concert Date, 
13, 12, 01. Rest of the identifier, I'm going to do evening. Click off. It'll make sure it's free. I'm assuming it's going to be. Yep. And actually, I'm going to do evening all because um, I, mean, I know there was another taper who had slightly better equipment. So, so when I uploaded the first show of that evening, he had already uploaded his, and I gave it the alt title. So now it's just a matter of waiting for these files to upload, and it's probably going to take a couple hours. Okay, finally all the files are uploaded, and I scroll down to the bottom of the page, click Share My Files, it'll chug a bit chug 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 uh, ready for me to fill out metadata then I want to put You want to make sure to select this E tree thing. Now I actually had an error in the file where I had one. Um, I used one of the numbers once. So I'm going to fill in the description. Really just copying from my main file. Yeah, from here we're really almost done. Uh, menu, oh, Brooklyn Ball, and Brooklyn, New York. Source is. Uh, ah, I was hoping it would have it from the last one I uploaded today. Source lineage. Well, some sound forge. Oh, that one had it. Taper taped by me. Transferred. Notes. I did have some notes. Yeah, Fallen Two was performed as a three-piece. Then if I scroll down, it, I expect it's going to lose the names at the point where I doubled the number. Let's see. Maybe not. I don't remember what number it was. Oh no, it looks like it got them all. Awesome. So, populate creator, populate album and evening show. I'm actually going to populate that in all of these in theory normally you wouldn't have to do this manually If you're a Guster fan, look at this set list. What a great set list. Except for Satellite, which I hate. And I'm not a big, big fan of the new weird airport. And actually, for consistency, I'll remove that space there. Then submit. It does a bunch of stuff. 
and boom it's posted and it'll take a while to populate this page generate the player here in the mp3s and whatnot on uh, here it is the player of uh, Instead of just flack, they've populated all the uh, names in here, and so we're good to go. My description and my notes. So I hope you found my process interesting, and I hope this helps other people. Because I, you know, this whole process was confusing to me when I first started uploading files to archive.org. Thank you. Good night.